What's up everybody? My name is Blaze Tiger back with another video. And today we are playing Persona 5 Strikers. I'm extremely excited for this game because I'm a big, big, big Persona fan. My first Persona game in the series was Persona 4 Golden. And then um, Persona 3, Persona 5, then Persona 5 R. And I enjoyed every last one of them. Um, so let me just camera speed, camera aim speed. So let me just get all of this taken care of. Game mode, frame rate, graphics. Um, let's know the frame rate. We'll be fine with that. So you're gonna play the game on hard. I play every person on the game on the hardest difficulty the first time through. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited for this game. Uh, I played Persona Q 1 and 2 on, this, on the handheld and the arena games, but I wasn't too big of a fan of those. I, I, I really like the mainline games, and with the newer consoles, I'm playing this on the PS5, on the newer consoles, um, I'm hoping that the next Persona game, which will be Persona 6, you know, they make the game bigger, you know what I'm saying, because they're going to have to do a lot to top. Persona 5. Persona 5 was an amazing game. And the thing about Persona games is that you get in, you get really into it. You know, you, you live these characters' lives and you get so attached to them. When you beat the game, you just feel so empty because it's over, you know what I'm saying? There's no more story for them. So, in Persona 6, I hope they do more. I hope they do more. I mean, I'm not complaining, you know what I'm saying? Like, I hope they do more to, you know, let you live these characters' lives more efficiently, like more better than you've done in the previous installments. Can you pause this? Oh, yes, you can. Okay. I'm also a big fan of the Dynasty Warriors um, games. My favorite is Dynasty Warriors Gundam. So I uh, know I'm going to enjoy this. Right. Let's begin the game. That was one hell of an entrance, Joker. They're all riled up. Just keep at it. Go ham until you've drawn every last bit of attention. Everyone else, proceed as planned. Joker's got the crash coming. Now you're going to Okay. Hard mode is, yeah. <laughs> Try not to get hit much. Oh. Oh my goodness. All right. Out of all of the protagonists um, in all the Persona games, they're, um, the main Persona, my favorite one, is Izanagi. Like, I really like Arsene, but Izanagi is the man. Okay, the opening, okay. I may have to cut this out of the video so um, it doesn't get copyrighted, but we'll see.
All right, so, um, yeah, so the game's starting now. Hey, it's been a while. Okay, we just got to get stuff to do it. I suppose it's been a little while. Me too, it hasn't been for me as well. I had no money to work. This man never had no money. A direct sequel to a really good game, man. So, um, First, we have the Vice Minister of Finance. This is what I want, you know what I'm saying? I like, I want to see more of these characters. Like, you know, we, we start, we, you know, we start getting this attachment to these characters. And again, like I said, the game ends and it's like nothing. So it's good to see, you know, it's, just, it's good to get to come back to it, you know what I'm saying? And continue their story, get to live their life again. Abruptly confessed to document tampering. Hmm. Soon after that, the central councilman confessed to bribery and publicly resigned. Next, the well-known author Mr. S. He held a press conference and announced he was retiring from writing, returning his books awards, and deeming his body of work garbage. Then a newscaster suddenly got down on one knee, confessed his love for his co-anchor on live TV, proposed to her. And got shot down. Lastly, the Director General of Criminal Affairs unexpectedly stripped off his clothing and ran around HQ until successfully detained. <laughs> Something amusing to you, Inspector Hasegawa? Uh, no. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> The vast majority of these cases have been interpreted as nothing more than bizarre outbursts. But, time and again, every instance involves a sudden change in personality. Furthermore, none of the individuals involved had any known psychological issues before their incidents. Therefore, we can surmise that these cases are the result of an external influence. Aren't these just coincidences? Are you really implying someone out there is using mind control? The cases I listed are only a small sample of this behavior, which appears to be happening across the entire nation. Hmm. Sounds like the Phantom Thieves to me. I want silence! Proceed with the report. Thank you, Commissioner Kabaraki. As you realize, or at least as one of you realized, these cases are very reminiscent of last year's change of heart epidemic. The top brass have concluded that this is indeed the work of the Phantom Thieves. What? Hmm. What evidence is there? No one's even established a pattern. And we don't have any sort of motive. So far, doing it for kicks is the only thing that'd explain it. You will investigate each of these incidents yourselves as quickly as possible. What I expect from each of you are two things. One. To assemble enough evidence for a successful case. Two, to do so as quickly as humanly possible. The higher ups are hell bent on closing this case. I do not know why, it does not matter. All that matters is producing results. Your suspect is the leader of the Phantom Thieves. Show me a thorough investigation of his entire life. <sighs> oh, my boy's so, picture up right. Phantom Thieves rise again. He can't Alright, so we got the calendar system in here. I don't know how long this game is. I haven't looked at any gameplay or anything like that. I've just seen the trailer, so I don't know how long this game is. It's been a while since um, we rode this I don't know jail, huh? if we will be able to walk around and uh, do most of what we did in the original game. I don't know. I don't see confidants being part of the game, though. Uh -huh. Okay. We're almost there. And it feels good to, to go back, you know, meet everybody and see how they grew up, what kind of new things they've been into. Yeah. 
when the Phantom Thieves come together, it's never anything less. Finally made it. All right, we're back. <laughs> Man, I'm not how you for this, but. Hey, hey. Yeah, go around. Okay, let's do things. One, okay. So it's been about a half a year since Persona Five, so we still have the area around here. So it looks like these are some spots we can, you know, go to or use. The clinic doesn't look like we can do anything okay so maybe later so okay so we might be able to go there later um batting cage i don't know if we'll be able to use that but we'll see we'll see what we can uh what they allow us to do for the, in this all right come on been a while. Did you get taller? <laughs> Looks like you've been doing fine. <laughs> you too, Morgana. Mm. Meow. <laughs> it's gotten hot. Hey, you guys hungry? Moon is practically purring. This is a good... Yeah, I, okay, we must get through this because I really want to play. You guys did all that for us? <laughs> Talk about a greeting. We hadn't seen you in so long, we knew we had to do something. <laughs> Whoops, sorry to make the press that out. Well, just like at the log, we figured that uh, <laughs> the best way to get you was to have Boss let us in early. I should have said the last one. <laughs> I hear you. Even though it's only been a couple of months, it feels like it's been a real long while. Yeah, I'm sure you all have plenty of catching up. But I've got to open up soon. Go ahead and take it upstairs. After all, it's your room. Have a good time. No problem. You can just pay me back working the counter. Now, thieves, to the hideout. Great. Just when I was enjoying the peace and quiet. You really never change. <laughs> Four or three of my finals in one day, too. I was freaking out. I had so many makeup lectures in a row, I almost wasn't able to come over today. <laughs> then I win. I only flunked one final. <laughs> They're celebrating the fact. <laughs> She's celebrating flunking one. Classes a bit more seriously. Ooh, watch out. Miss President's gonna unleash her fist of justice. Please forget about that already. So is college life all it's cracked up to be? Yes, it's going well. I've been using the time to take care of the core curriculum. I've been busy too, but it's also a lot of fun. For example, I've learned how to selectively breed certain vegetables. Oh, -ho! yielded any results yet? Boy, <laughs> that got his interest. Wait, aren't you in the management program though? Yes. But students are allowed to take courses beyond their own programs if they feel so inclined. They even offer agricultural science courses. You can learn all sorts of neat things, like the correlation between soil nutrients and yield. Gah. That'd put me to sleep in a minute flat. And you, Fataba? How's school been for you? <laughs> Too easy. At this point, the only hellish parts are the commute and P.E. Praise me more. Keep it coming. Well, how about you then? You're the one we're most curious about. You doing okay back home? What a coinky ding! Me too. Well, I've been getting by too. Without you around, it's sort of like stuff is just kind of bleh. Of course, 
He's our leader. It's only natural. That's right. <laughs> Once a phantom thief, always a phantom thief. Well, let's say we start coming up with summer vacation plans. Anyone have any ideas? Oh, right. We should figure that stuff out. You're fine to stay here through all of vacation, right? Well, how about a trip, guys? Come on, we've got a whole month to rage. Um, aren't you forgetting about your homework? Blah. <laughs> not only do you have homework, but your third years now. You need to start thinking not just about graduation, but post-graduation. No, stop. Don't bring that up. Not now, please. <laughs> Ryuji never changes. Back to the topic at hand. If I may suggest Kyoto, I'll find an abundance of inspiration if we tour each temple and shrine. The sheer wealth and beauty I could witness in a whole month. I can hear the treasures of our history calling to me. Yeah, if it's a month-long art tour, I'm totally gonna pass. Shot him down quick. The trip does sound nice, but what if we all went camping first? We can all go hiking and stuff during the day, and even throw together a barbecue at night. B -b barbecue Aren't those always the big gatherings for people who socialize IRL? <laughs> Sounds fun. You can leave the firewood chopping to me. Kicking summer off right with a barbecue buffet. Sounds badass to me. <laughs> How about you? Look for decent marbling in the cuts. That's how you get the real good stuff. Trust me on this. It does sound rather fitting for the summer. I like the idea. But we'll need an awful lot of vegetables to balance it out. Huh. A barbecue is one of the few things in this world that can pull me away from art. Our history's treasures can wait a bit longer. Choosing food and art? You sure your priorities are solid there, Inari? All right. Our first reunion party has been unanimously decided. We're going camping. And with that settled... Emma, list recommended camping gear. I have compiled a list of items recommended for camping. There was a sporting and travel goods store near 705 in Shibuya. Customer reviews rate this as the best relevant store in your area. Ooh, what's that? The virtual assistant, Emma. You haven't heard of it yet? Oh, I think I have. It knows, like, basically everything and does all sorts of stuff for you, right? Oh, yeah, it's got this, uh, eye that thinks for it, right? I think you mean AI, not an eye. Right, it stands for artificial intelligence. It can search all kinds of databases, conduct navigation, manage your schedule, even talk out logic problems and stuff with you. The makers go on about how you can ask it anything and you'll get the best possible answer. I remember seeing a demo of one on TV the other day. They were showing off its functions and talking about how it's the next big thing. Yep, that's it, all right. Pretty solid tech, considering it's roughly a thousand times smarter than Ryuji. Shut up! That sounds kind of cool, though. <gasps> Can we get into this where all the best ramen shops are? Yeah, you should all download it. I'm telling you, it's the bee's knees. I suppose it is. It's the bee's knees. Yeah, we heard that one in a while. It's <laughs> a good idea. Why don't you get it, too? It's the bee's knees. Hello, this is Emma. I am pleased to meet you. Please provide me your name. Okay, so I will be naming him the same thing I named him in my persona of uh, the persona games. Uh, so I named him Ren, and I believe this was his actual um, anime name, I believe, if I remember correctly. I had to load up my Persona game to get the names to remember what the name was. M A M I. Since you know this is like a sequel, this is a sequel, so I'm going to it'll just be right for me to use the same name. Oh, the settings. We're going to keep it on hard. Again, I am Emma, your helpful virtual assistant. 
Looks like you've got it figured out. I sent you all friend requests. Please don't blow them off. Displaying recommended camping items. So Emma came up with all that? Impressive, no? And it's not just random junk for sale, either. It takes into account the season, the weather, your personal profile, and even your location for all its recommendations. For real? Damn, that thing's eye is crazy! Uh, <laughs> Do you still say an eye? <laughs> well, should we split up and buy everything Emma's listed for us? Oh, can't we do it tomorrow? It's so hot out. I bet this guy's beat from the traveling, too. We just went through all the effort to meet up at the hideout, yeah? So let's make the most of it. Indeed. I have an absolute plethora of discussion topics for us to mull over, particularly matters such as modern art and the possibilities within it in our current age. Yeah, anything but that. Shot him down again. <laughs> I don't want to make the video long, um, but this looks like it's going to be a bunch of dialogue for a while, for a little bit here. Thank you for treating us all to curry, boss. <laughs> don't worry about it. Just think of it as sort of a welcome back gift. Plus, with this guy hanging around again, it'll be nice feeling like old times. Same here. <laughs> Thanks again. We'll be back soon. Well, see you tomorrow. You know... It was nice talking after so long. Okay, let's get to shopping first thing tomorrow. Yeah, we gotta get everything Emma listed up for us, right? Then we should meet up by the Buchiko statue in Shibuya. See you then. Don't go forgetting, okay? And don't go forgetting about helping out behind the counter either, okay? <laughs> yeah, it was really nice to have her go out on a cab before returning to my room. Hmm. Let's call off. There he goes. There he goes. For his go to sleep. Okay, so that's still the same. Write something. Okay, that's still the same. But there's no, um, there's no menu. Now then. Okay. Okay. Then we go to the shop. Okay. Let's go to so can't do anything. Convoy is forcing us to go to sleep. Oh, boy, does this bed bring back memories? It's nice to see everyone doing so well. The chief seemed to be the same as ever, too. This place is just as great as I remembered. So, we're camping in a couple days, huh? Talk about a way to kick off your summer vacation. <laughs> Me too. Well, we should get some sleep. <sighs> Good night. Oh, back in the velvet room. Yeah, I still got him as a prisoner. I thought you said he wasn't in prison no more. Then I'll just come back as, you know, normal. It's been a while, hasn't it? Huh? Hello, Igor. Welcome to the Velvet Room. She was such a pain to fight in Persona 5. I know not whether to rejoice or bemoan this reunion. Regardless, I must perform my duty. This place exists between dream and reality, mind and matter. It is a room that only those who are bound by a contract may enter. The expression you bear now tells me you already know the reason for your summons. I must warn you of the danger threatening to consume both yourself 
and the entire world whose heart you strove so greatly to change. A most loathsome prison has manifested. Your appearance is ironclad evidence of this. You have become a prisoner of fate yet again. Someone, even now, plots to lure you into a disastrous fate. Confronted by this evil will, your own cries out. Rise against it. My name is Lavenza. As one who rules over power, my duty is to witness the path you take. Should the world continue down its own current path, all that awaits you is destruction. Have you the resolve to defy such a fate, and face the distortion that yet again threatens your world? I guess they reintroduced her for people that may not have played the uh, Persona 5 games. That is the trickster I know so well. What awaits you ahead are more of the same, no, even greater hardships than before. However, you must never forget. I am always by your side. The time has come. Let us meet again soon. Until then, pleasant dreams. Okay. So we should be close to the battles. Okay. Talk to boss later, save the game here. Hopefully we can get to the Badland before I run, uh, before I hit my uh, limit that I set for myself for this video. What's up? Ready to buy some camp and shit? Let's <laughs> hustle to the store so we can finally chill for a bit. It's already way too hot out. We're in charge of picking up the barbecue, right? Go ahead and lead the way, Ryuji. Uh, yeah, I, I, I don't know where it is. Oh, right, we can just ask the app. Hey, uh, Emma? Hello. Do you need something? Yeah, uh, show us that story you told us about. Displaying the optimal route to your destination. Whoa, look at this sweet map. Can't even figure out how to help with a big question like that. Right, I was uh, I was shocked that she so was able to answer that. Thought. Great, let's get this over with so we can plan tomorrow's feast. <laughs> What's Who's all that? the racket? Who's Alice? Is that the like, redhead girl? I have a suggested event for you. A promotional store opening is currently underway at the Shibuya 705 storefront with Alice Aragi. Huh? That was a suggested event? Wait, for real? Alice is here? Alice Aragi is a Japanese fashion model and performing artist. She has gained attention with her adorable look and unique sense of style. She has acted in a variety of media and genres. She has become a pop culture tastemaker and continues to amass a devoted young fan base. Wow, Emma makes her sound huge. Is she really all that popular? Oh, I don't know. What kind of answers 
that crowd giving you, huh? Alice really is just over there. Oh, I can't believe it. Hey, for real, in real life, I wouldn't even care. You haven't changed at all, have you? It's on our way into the store. Why not check it out? She's totally cute enough for this to be worth it. Oh, it's not hey, the right hey, What's going on? Heard it's some shop opening ceremony. Wait, isn't that Alice? Alice Hiraki! Hi, folks. Thanks for coming. A shop that carries one of my very own brands you is sound like a robot. here today. Have you ever dreamed that you could be somebody else, even if just for a little while? I bet she's a bad guy or something. Yeah, I think she might be a bad guy. What was with that crowd? Man, I can't believe I saw Alice. She was just as cute as I thought she'd be. Right? Oh, she just has this vibe. Well, she's all yours. My heart still belongs to Lady Anne alone. Yeah, yeah, we get it. <laughs> so nobody well, cares. Are you satisfied now? Let's hurry up with the shopping. Fine, fine. Oh, yeah, you got one of those cards from Alice, right? <laughs> yeah, he did. You just got blown off. Can it? There were just a ton of people around, is all. Alice Hiragi's Wonderland? This looks like a boring old ad to me. Hmm? There's some fine print here. Here's my Emma keyword. Please become my friend. What's a keyword? Didn't Futaba use something like that yesterday? She said we could become friends through Emma. Yeah, do it! Come on! So, you input the keyword, then you become friends with Alice? You said it's on the card, right? What was it again? Uh, Wonderland? That might be how to transport people. Entered. Beginning navigation. And Emma might be the new um, meta nav from whatever company is trying to get the Phantom Teeth Thieves or whatever they're trying to do. like whoa what happened to you guys not just me you changed too whoa for real huh? Huh? looks like this place is connected to the metaverse this is a joke right whoa, check it look out. aren't those the guys we saw at 705 hey everyone you love me don't you Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And you can give me all your desires. <laughs> oh, well, that turned quick. 
Why y'all standing there, man? I don't been, man. I don't. Whoop. No time. We'll figure it out later. Joker, Skull, let's fight our way out. Yeah, right, now we can fight. Damn it. Uh, fine, let's do this. We'll take all of you on. Stay sharp, you two. We have a fun sometime. Just warm up a bit to start this. It'll come back to you soon enough. Don't forget who you're talking to. I'm loving this, uh, the, the fighting system. While holding R1, persona skills hold R1 and move to aim at enemies, then use skills with X, activate skills will consume HP or SP. Persona skills have certain affinities, while enemies may have weaknesses to specific affinities by using attacks that an enemy's weak against you will deal greater damage and deplete your enemies, uh, enemies down. Okay, all out attacks. O on down enemies, all out attacks. While an enemy is knocked down, press O to initiate an all out attack. Since they can deal damage to several enemies at once, it is a good idea to use all out attacks on large groups of enemies. When an enemy's down gauge is fully depleted, it will be, down, uh, be knocked down. You can deplete an enemy's down gauge by striking its weakness or by landing critical and technical hits. Okay, so okay. Uh, okay, yeah, I know about all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I can't move. Let's go. Take this. Boy, they hit hard. Man, look at my own. Reinforcements! If this keeps up much longer, we'll be done for we should make good use of our surroundings. See anything that could give you the advantage? Okay, Phantom Dash. Press O during an on screen prompt. Phantom Dash, press O to move swiftly after Phantom Dash, you all might be going hiding. Okay, so it's kind of like, it's kind of like, um, Kingdom Hearts streamed out distance. Oh, shoot. Oh, you can do that also? Okay. Alright, that was cool. I like that. Oh, I didn't need to do that. Sensitivity can be a little... I gotta get used to the sensitivity. And I'm used to games that allow you to like, press the analog stick down to send to the camera. But it looks like that's just too lock on. Okay, is there a way to heal? I wonder if they allow you to get different personas. Oh, I 
in the hell is this place? Oh, I think this could be Alice's palace. Palace? I thought those were done for, though. I mean, we don't even have the meta nav on our phones anymore. I don't know what's going on. But I don't think anything else could explain this. You saw Alice on that screen just like I did. No matter how you look at it, that was her shadow. We just happened to wander into Alice's palace using Emma. That would be the most logical explanation. Damn it! Whatever it is doesn't change the fact that we're in deep shit. Mm, we need more intel. Let's investigate the area. This really is a palace? The distortion has to have a core somewhere. We need to find the treasure. Oh, even getting a faint whiff of it. If we look around, we may be able to learn what's going on, too. We'll get a better idea of what to do next, depending on what we find. Guess we're doing this. Okay, so I'm going to wait for the end of this cutscene, and then we'll cut the video here, and we'll come back for part two. I want to try and make these videos as short as possible. Um, yeah. Yep, I knew that was coming. <laughs> I saw once well, yeah, I saw her have that in her hand, I knew that was coming. Oh, so you're a joker, huh? I'm going to need some aspirin. You need to answer properly when you're Cedric. Asks a question. Quit it, asshole! Uh, would you shut your mouth? Or are you looking for punishment too? What? Shit! Just try it! Uh, what a bore. I just stopped caring. Get rid of them, however. I don't want toys that don't do as they're told. Bye-bye. Alright, so I'm going to stop it here. Um, I will be back for part two. If you enjoyed the video, as always, don't forget to drop a like, subscribe, and I will catch you guys on the next one.